All right, we'll start with a cylinder. We'll give it six faces, and then we'll grab it, we'll move it up so the origin's at the base of it. From here, we'll grab the top face, move that upwards, create a loop cut. There, we'll grab the top face, scale that down to zero. We will then grab the bottom face, scale that down a little bit to give it a bit more of an angle. Then we'll grab this loop edge here with Alt left click, scale that out a little bit. There we go. Now select all, merge by distance. This combines the top to one vertice. From here, we can play around. We can duplicate it a bunch of times and just move it around, rotating it. Go from different angles, get different sizes, scaling it up and down, moving them around till you get a desired image that you want. Don't think about it too much, just have a little bit of fun. Changing the angles a bit, repositioning, and that looks alright. They look a little too perfect, let's make them more organic. If we click on Mesh, go to Transform down to Randomize. What this does is randomly displaces all of the vertices. Just play around with the figures till you get something that you like. I pumped it up to 0.5. Had a look at it, didn't like it too much, thought it looked a little too weird. So I lowered that back down to 0.25. Next, if we go to Mesh, and then down to clean up, make planar faces and turn that all the way up to 200. Then we'll combine everything to one, rename it to crystals. Now let's color it. We'll go down to the materials, add a new material, change the base color. Don't forget to go to material shading so you can see what you're doing. Change the color to something you like. I went with uh, greeny blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll then go to emission because we'll make them glowing crystals so you can see them in the dark. I went for a light blue here. Go to rendered view. Mm, needs to be shinier. Let's change the specular upwards and turn the roughness downwards. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, I like that. Shiny. And this is where you can play around a bit. Duplicate it. Make a new material. Change the colors. See what you like. See what you don't like. Some things might work for you. Others might not. You can play around with it however you like. That's how you make low poly crystals. Done.